The Royal Caribbean project started about five years ago with a call from Christopher Lasopoulos that we have these things called robots and why not see if you could get some to put on a ship. In 1995, a company called ABB Robotics hired me to do computer animation for the installation software for their uh, CD-ROM at that time. So as I was animating for, the, for that, I got a chance to go look at the ABB robots. And at that time, I saw the, a demonstration of the precision of the robots with two needles coming together at high speed. And it just blew me away. For years, I explored the ABB robots and at one point went to ABB University in Auburn Hills. And uh, that's when it all started. I think I was booked by Royal Caribbean to bring something fresh, definitely a fresh point of view. And so, uh, although the cruise industry has always been very good in entertainment, uh, they've never really been pioneers. Uh, so when I signed on, it was in its infancy, but my goodness, as soon as I spotted those babies, I saw the potential. Uh, I'm a bit of a techie myself, and I really thought that using robotics in entertainment was probably really new ground to explore. They actually came on tour with us with Bon Jovi five years ago to see the equipment in action and see it in a real environment doing mission critical work for the biggest pop star on earth in front of sold out crowds, being taken apart, placed up, loaded into the next arena, perform, loading out over and over and again. With ABB's help, within 90 days we played over 200 shows to sold out audiences around the world. So they saw the um, the robust nature of the equipment and how it was just uh, eager to perform at a moment's notice wherever it was installed. This was born from rock and roll. It was born from that rock and roll tour. People are fascinated for the same reason I was fascinated when I first saw a robot, and that is this large object that looks like a human arm moving around in a very fluid way. The particular robots we've chosen for this venue is the IRB 6620. It's a 150 kilogram payload, 2.2 meter reach, and it can be invert mounted. It's really a four-dimensional space you're looking at because you have uh, the critical element of time. If the timing is off when the video's uh, images are displayed, you will notice it immediately. And, and that is one of the challenging parts here is uh, the constant motion of the robots requires uh, telemetry to be fed to the media management system so that it can maintain the image on the screen. The robot's going to do the same thing every time. That, that's the whole benefit of using uh, robots for something like this. So the complexity are we've got six robots, each with six axes. They're on a vertical transfer system that adds an additional axis ship is moving forward, which is another axis, and then we have yaw, pitch, and roll of the ship. So if you add all those up, it's a lot of axes. So that's really complex. Synchronized multi-robot coordination between power robots that are carrying screens where each of them is the same price tag as two Ferraris. How important is uh, precision? It is totally important. So what we do is we run them up slowly to get to what we call full speed, and then once we get to full speed, the robots perform perfectly. software robot animator connects the computer animation environment to robot studio. It's kind of like this, this bridge between you know, heavy manufacturing, precision manufacturing, and computer animation technologies which have been around for quite a bit. There's a system in the control room that uh, the, uh, the show, uh, the stage manager uses to manipulate all the mechatronics you see here in this 270 room. The media content is a whole different matter. That's delivered. Uh, to uh, robotic arts in a very similar manner, except it's just positions of the screens. And then Andy has to match that, the robot motion, to the, the pictures of the screens. There's a complexity to not making it Attack of the Robots. We don't want it to be the robot show. It's a beautiful show about love and about dancers, and it's, it's not supposed to be a robot show. The robots are manufacturing this experience in people's 
heads. And you can almost feel that the robots are in their groove and they're doing that show and they're just there. They make me very proud when I get to that point. The audience reaction to robotic entertainment is strange because they've never seen it. So they don't know what to do. Normally you see the mouth open, that's pretty consistent, but they don't clap because they're really kind of stunned. It's like seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time. You just take a deep breath. And what we're noticing with the robotics uh, shows we're doing, people are just stunned into silence. I think you're gonna see live entertainment, which we've proven, um, concerts, theater, uh, remote theater, um, the next step, I believe, is going to be in motion picture production, where you've got lights, camera, and action all on robotics. You know, the trifecta of ABB Robotics, Andy Flesses, Royal Caribbean, all basically creating a science together uh, that has never been done. So we had one eye on the creative. We had one eye on what we, what we would like to see but we had to also figure it all out on, a, on, you know, on computers and slide rules to make sure that it would work. So it was an engineering project, it was a creative project, it was an animation project. And uh, you know, as we're seeing just in these last days, it really is something spectacular.